What's up, everybody? My Vernon Kid here, coming to you again. Uh, how's everybody doing out there? Uh, first and foremost, once again, I'd like to say uh, happy birthday to uh, Jennifer Jackson again. Um, hope she had a good day. I also like to give a shout out to old mastermind Cody. Uh, that intro was beautiful, bro. I, I loved it. Um, and as you can see, I used it. I'm gonna alternate with intros. I'll alternate with mine and I'll alternate again um, with yours. So I'm going to use it definitely. Um, I'm here to talk about, to review the episode three of Transformers Prime uh, that aired today on The Hub. It airs uh, 6.30, um, but I didn't watch it till late. <laughs> um, bottom line, this episode was a little bit, a little slower paced little more downtime uh the kids are getting to know their uh respective protectors you know uh you know with uh rc and bumblebee and uh bulkhead you know uh so each one of them is getting to know jack is getting to know rc a little bit more she you know she's kind of opening up she's not being too much of a uh big sister type character uh miko is really (laughs) sorry about that um miko is definitely getting into uh bulkhead she she likes that bulkhead is pretty much he's pretty much a big hummer in this uh and uh um so she's getting to know him more better while uh while you have Raph playing with uh, Bumblebee, they were playing a video, a car video game. Uh, and if you saw the last episode where uh, remnants of the Dark Energon fell onto that little, little, uh, I guess, machine, it, it attacked Ratchet, <laughs> and uh, Ratchet was fighting it off until uh, uh, Optimus came and destroyed it. Uh, but then uh Optimus comes in and talks about talks to Ratchet that okay we need to uh basically uh we're gonna do a recon mission. So he he tells the Autobots to get together and uh he says, R C you're in charge while me and Ratchet go out. It's just recon. And RC's like saying Ratchet hasn't been in action since the war, you know, and Ratchet's like you know, my, I may not, my blasters may be a little bit malfunctioning, but my ears are still good and I can hear it. So it's like, like, don't doubt me just because I have, I'm not on the battlefield all the time. Uh, from there we go to basically Megatron again, uh, with the dark remnants of the dark Energon with Starscreen. And he is talking about how he's now connected. It's almost like he can hear Ultron, uh, no, I'm, excuse me, uh, uh, he, Unicron, excuse me, I said Ultron, he, he could hear Unicron in his head, uh, and from there, you know, we get all into, you know, laid back, you know, the kids are laid back, you know, Miko is, she's a guitarist, so she's really trying to amp up, you know, them and everything like that, uh, until Agent Fowler comes in, and, uh, they try to hide from hide behind Bulkhead. <laughs> it's kind of funny, uh, and Bulkhead. But unfortunately, uh, Miko leaves her guitar still in the uh, the amplifier, and uh, and Fowler sees it. So the kids come out behind Bulkhead, and basically he was gonna put them in protective custody. Uh, to Bulkhead said, "We're protecting them," and Agent Fowler goes off and tells he's gonna report this to his superiors. Uh, In the meantime, we, we still see Ratchet and uh, Megatron, um, uh, Ratchet and Optimus walking, you know, doing a recon mission as well. And later on, we see that uh, Fowler reports this to his superior, superiors, but they're being monitored. It was being monitored by Starscream, and Starscream tells uh, Soundwave to send out. What I thought was um, 
was uh, a newer version of uh, Air Razor from the, the traditional sound wave when he would he would send out Ravage and Air Razor and Rumble. Instead, it's a new character known as uh, Rat Bat, <laughs> uh, and he sends that out to obtain Agent Fowler. He does uh, the kids. There was an SOS. And uh, the kids go out with Bulkhead to find uh, Agent Fowler. They find him, and basically, uh, um, you see, uh, first it was just uh, Bulkhead go, but uh, Nico goes along, jumps within the space bridge with him. There's a, a miniature battle between um, Bulkhead and the drones, which are called uh, uh, Eraticons. They're that that's what they're called um but uh it was interesting and the f fight is going pretty decent it was a decent fight uh and then you see uh bulkhead tell miko turn your head and he basically rips out the drones like i guess central core system just rips it right out and miko was like that was so cool and things like that uh and then jack and raf come through the space bridge while Bumblebee and uh, RC have to follow them the old-fashioned way. Next, you know, we, we, we turn to what is uh, Optimus and uh, Ratchet again. And finally, they, we meet up with Megatr Megatron. And pretty much, uh, they pull a, a brightest, a blackest night scenario in this one. Uh, with the remnants of the the dark energon, Megatron uh, brings back dead Cybertronians that were left on Earth, and they come out. Uh, they're going to be called Terracons uh, in this. They're undead army, basically, and you see them come out, and. Uh, Megatron is just there on top of a, like a, a boulder because they're like in a, a desert canyon area and you see the undead Cybertronians coming at uh, Optimus and Ratchet and uh, that's where it ends it says to be continued um, overall it was a, like I said a slow episode but it, it picked up after a while um Two more episodes to go for the for the first five episodes, and then in February they're gonna bring the rest of the uh, season out. Um, but like I said, it, it was very interesting. Especially I liked when uh, uh, Starscream was torturing <laughs> torturing uh, Agent Fowler. It was kind of interesting. I mean, he he used Energon and he was like tasing uh, Agent Fowler, and he's like, I see Energon and human the human system don't coexist together but it was a it was an okay episode it wasn't that bad um i'm gonna still watch the, the the last two episodes that will air uh tomorrow and the third which is a friday uh but uh it was very interesting it was it was good just a little slow but it, it picked up um so you guys you know you tell me what you guys thought of it if you did see it if you didn't uh, it comes on 6.30 on the hub. Um, and uh, that's all I got to say. You know, it, Overall, it was a good episode. Um, but once again, I'd just like to say thanks to everybody again. Uh, thanks, Cody, again. Uh, once again, for that beautiful, just kick-ass uh, intro. Now I got two. And I will alternate between the two. Uh, once again... Mom Vernon Kid, saying peace, stay tuned, keep it real, I'm out.